Great. Uh, so you, you, you must to finish at what time? Uh, it's around 16. You must to, you, now you, may, you want to finish at what time? Okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we are very happy to have the second lecture. So I advise you, I advise you to take, uh, because this lecture is very pedagogical. So it's good to, it's kind of uh, course. So I advise you to take, uh, like, uh, to take uh, note. Um, the uh, contact book is now uploaded. Again, we have the exercises. Uh, but at the end of the day, so we will try maybe to do something the right for, uh, for your homework. So, uh, after introductory part yesterday, you heard from different points of view, as I noticed, John also introduced the control systems. So you heard from me how to solve the run of the system of your canonical equation, how you transform to canonical form yesterday. Okay. And so we actually had a lot of John's introductory. Um, story we can maybe split to different time also. I think it's better for you to, to hear it. We were repeating ourselves. Um, so we are now prepared to, to start with uh, the, the drawing the phase portrait for the linear system. As I explained to you yesterday, just to remind you why we do that, because we know how to solve the linear system. Okay, you heard from me yesterday. Uh, so you can also uh, talk uh, in the morning about the exponential matrix, which is uh, very straightforward uh, method to solve any uh, system with efficient, especially today with the computers. So that's no problem. But why we do that? Because we now want to know. Uh, how the phase portrait which is for the linear system, because after that we will apply that to the nonlinear design is why we can to solve the polarization. Because this is the only way that we can uh, uh, come to some conclusions about the fixed point of the nonlinear nonlinear systems. Uh, so as you saw, so of course we uh, have to uh, uh manage the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors uh as i've explained uh, uh, yesterday generally first i suppose that the determinant of the matrix is different from zero so that means that we had a unique equilibrium point uh, the other is very particular cases that I will uh, talk more in uh, the last chapter when I uh, uh, will talk about bifurcation. But for now, we only classify uh, the unique uh, equilibrium point. Of course, now it is the origin for the linear two dimensional systems. So, this is the classification, of course. It depends on the, the type of the eigenvalues. Okay, we said that for eigenvalues we obtain the quadratic equation, algebraic. So we have either two real roots different, or we have uh, double roots called real, or we have the pair of uh, complex uh, roots. So let's start. Uh, let's start with the phase diagram type one. So concerning the uh, two uh, different and uh, real and non-zero uh, eigenvalues. As I explained yesterday, we always start by plotting the phase portrait for the canonical form of the system. And after that, we will see how the uh, phase portrait uh, will look uh, for the original system uh, application. So we have, so this is the canonical form we have on the one and on the two on the uh, diagonal. We have uncoupled system, which we saw the yesterday. So this is the general solutions of the uh, this uh, 
uh, systems of the differential equation. And if for the original systems, if we have uh, uh, eigenvectors, we want to review them. As I explained also yesterday, the general solutions is uh, given in this form. Here, of course, how the solution will behave. All depending on the lambda, okay? And the lambda is negative when the solution comes to zero, okay? And the lambda is positive, the solution is an exponential function, okay? It goes to infinity, okay? So we distinguish three cases and we have three different uh, type of phase board. Of course, I start with the first case when the both eigenvalues are negative. Uh, so what we have, we have that the both coordinate of the solutions tends to zero. What this means, so zero, zero is the origin. This means that all the trajectories will approach the origin as the time increase. Okay, so according to the stability which we defined yesterday, the origin will be the stable, but not the, only the stable. It will be remember asymptotic is stable because all the trajectories are not just around the. Uh, the fixed point is approaching the uh, fixed point as the time increase. The backward time, so as t uh, goes to minus infinity, of course, the both uh, solution goes to infinity. Additionally, uh, both axes, so x1 and x2 axes are also the trajectories. And uh, the flow on these trajectories are also going to the origin. So we are approaching the origin. But now we don't have a curve in the trajectory. And this is what we call the straightforward solution. So the line on which we go to, uh, we approach the, approach the, approach the origin. So the next question is, for now we know that uh, we will approach the origin as the time increase. And the question is how exactly do the trajectories approach the origin? So uh, remember what we say that the trajectory is what? It is a curve in x1, x2, which is parametric uh, expressions are given by the solution. So x1 of t, x2 of t. We have the, the, the parametric uh, equations of the trajectory. So, in order to see how the trajectory exactly approach the origin as time increase, we compute the slope. Okay, the tangent to the uh, to the curving arbitrary point uh, of the phase plane. So, with quite easy calculations. So, the first derivative of x two. Uh, across the first derivative of x1, we obtain again yeah, the exponential function. So now it is important which of these two eigenvalues are bigger or smaller, okay? Or which is closer to zero or no. So for that, I suppose that a lambda one is uh, less, okay? less than lambda two. So where this goes to lambda two minus lambda one is bigger than zero. Yeah, so this goes to, to infinity, okay? With increasing time or it goes to zero in decreasing time, so backward time. So what is the line? With this tangent to x2, okay, x2 axis, okay, epsilon axis, and backward time, the trajectories will approach the x1 axis. So this is the tangent. And we have the phase portrait like this. Okay, so 
All the trajectories, so notice the um, directions of the flow. On all the curves, we are approaching the zero. So anywhere where we start, okay? After some times, we will approach the zero, the, the origin as the time increase. How the curves looks like, so we said, as the infinity, X2 axis is the tangent. So the trajectory is tangent to X2 axis. While if we go backward, the trajectories become the parallel to X1 axis. So they are coming from the parallel directions uh, on the X1 axis. And of course, as I noticed, we have these uh, four straight line solutions. This is axis. So when we uh, start at uh, some axis, we stay at this. So we have the straight line solutions and approach uh, approach the origin also uh, on this uh, on this line. So what type of this point is? So in the classification, the phase portrait is displayed C, and the equilibrium point is called table node. Okay, so this is from the left side, the stable node. Or otherwise, everything, I'll talk about that later, everything that is stable generally will be called the sink. You know what is sink? It's just you know, eat all the trifles <laughs> sometimes. So there's a, the unstable, Fixed points will be called source. Awesome. Yeah, the source, because you uh, look the picture on the right. This is just unstable node. So all the trajectory is just uh, looks like uh, the, the origin is source for all the trajectories. So for the unstable node, we now just go in the opposite direction. And the unstable node is when the both eigenvalues are now positive. Okay. So what is here important? Uh, we saw uh, that uh, it is important which eigenvalue is uh, larger, or bigger, or close to the, to the zero. And in this case, we call the lambda one the stronger eigenvalue. Why? Um, well, you can guess because uh, the solutions will go uh, faster or slower if the lambda one is less than lambda two. Exponential function faster. will go faster. So if you on the that axis, you will faster approach the zero than the other two. So sometimes for some, uh, some systems, uh, the time makes a difference. So how fast you will uh, enough approach uh, to the stable equilibrium. Uh, mm -hmm. How much time you you take? Uh, so that's why usually we called um, in this case we call uh, x two uh, as a slow again uh, direction and uh, x one uh, axis is called. Uh, the, the fast uh, alien, uh, alien direction, direction. So what we can conclude from the previous, so that trajectories will approach the origin always standing to the slow direction. So always standing to the slow direction and in the backward time, it becomes parallel to the fast alien direction. So, the only thing that you have to um, uh, to calculate in order to know how the trajectory looks are so far the eigenvalues and alien uh, vectors. Uh, so this was the canonical form. What will change in uh, for the original system? Now for the original systems, the eigenvectors are not uh, the usual vectors of the basis, then the eigenvectors, okay. That's why we do. 
So the stable node will be, and the unstable node will be like this. So you see, we just changed the coordinate system as I explained yesterday. Now, the uh, um, slow and fast eigendirections are what? Determined by the eigenvectors, okay? By the eigenvectors. So the slow eigendirections is determined by the eigenvectors, which corresponds to the what? So the eigen value, which is closer to zero. This is the slow part. And faster part will be the one corresponding to the eigenvector, which is uh, far from uh, far from zero. And again, we, we have the, the, the same situation. Here is the calculation in this uh, uh, in this case. But uh, and if you are interested, and generally, uh, as, I, as I explained, it is enough uh, to to plot. Uh, for the canonical system, because now you see we have just a slightly deformation. So, uh, generally, but we have to remember that uh, tractors always approach the origin tangent to the slow eigen directions, so defined as uh, directions uh, determined by the slow eigen vector, which is corresponding to the smaller lambda an absolute value and in backward time uh, the tractors become parallel to the always fast agent direction so here is the example as i already yeah as i already explained um of course for the told you yesterday or of course for all the calculation even for the homework or everything else, how you can use anything that you use for mathematical computation. So for mathematics, uh, much, uh, much love for everything because uh, it will uh, uh, compute you the wireless and then you have to put it out and so on. And uh, uh, the pictures are here floating uh, more from the uh, uh, actually of uh, of the face portrait so on the left you see the face portrait from the canonical systems you see and on the right is the face portrait of the original system so what we have to do for the matrix well to plot eigenvalues now we have minus four minus one and the eigenvectors is minus one minus one. So we have that the fast eigen direction is the line um, epsilon equal minus six. Okay, if we are epsilon um, two equal uh, minus epsilon one, and uh, the slow eigen direction, so corresponding to the smaller um, one that one. This is slow wave in direction. This is this line. So this is two lines plotted here. So, sorry. Yes. So the green is the fast wave in direction, and the red is slow wave in direction. So as you see, we have what? So all the trajectories approach tangent to the red, and backward time become the parallel to the green line which is uh, uh fast uh fast alien direction um okay and the third case so unstable is the same literally now the both solution stands to infinity uh backward time tends to two so we obtain uh, the phase portal just by are uh, changing uh, the arrows reversed uh, and according to the stable part. But the next case is maybe. Okay. So if two real ideas are of the different sign, so now what? Now the x coordinate goes to zero, but the x2 goes to 
So before I show you, what is your guess? Are we going to approach the origin or not? Depending on the direction we go. Um, how, how, how depending on direction? Yes, but very slightly depending you on have, direction. You have a direction that is uh, stable, you are approaching the origin, this is and the other is going the other way around. Yeah, so that is what we have similar to the stable and unstable. No, we had there the stable spread line solution for. Now we will have two stable mm -hmm. and two unstable. But what about the rest of the tractors? So if you start from the axis, you will either approach if you are on the stable axis, or you will move away from the origin if you are on this unstable axis. But what if you uh, start from any point in the first one? Will not free say origin. You will go firstly parallel and then like curve. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. This is uh, face portrait in in this uh, this direction. So, uh, the origin is stable or unstable. Yeah. But for enough time. No, no. <laughs> it will move away, away in the direction of the unstable axis. Uh, Us, yeah, okay. So it looks like it's stable for some time, it will approach the zero, but sooner or later, the unstable manifold or the unstable line will throw the and all the tractors away from the origin. So this is unstable. So the tractors look like this. Okay, so in this case, we have these two stable lines, okay, corresponding to the stable eigen direction, which corresponds to the negative eigen value. Okay, and in this case, the x2 axis is unstable lines corresponding to the positive agent direction. So if we start anywhere else, we will go sometimes parallel to the stable. It seems like that we are approaching the origin, but sooner or later, we are repelled by the origin in the direction of the unstable line. Uh, this point, classification we call it the, the saddle, uh, saddle face, uh, face portrait. And as I just explained, uh, this point is unstable fixed point. You can maybe ask the question, what about if I start on the table line then. That's why in this fun literature of um, the dynamical system, this kind of uh, instability is called stable instability, meaning that you have a some position in the phase plane that if your uh, starting wires are there, okay, then uh base points will be uh will be stable but if you uh, start anywhere else in the face plane one well, of the base points will be stable and we will move away from them. what will be different for the original oh just again the transformation okay now we have also unstable eigen directions uh, which is uh, determined by the uh, eigen vector uh, corresponding to the positive, and we have the stable eigen direction, which is determined by the eigen vector uh, corresponding to the one. All the other tractors look the same. Okay, again, we are parallel sometimes to the stable, and after that, uh, no, I need glasses. 
you can go in general and two directions. Table, this is unstable. So we are parallel to the stable and then moved away from the origin in the direction of the unstable, uh, unstable direction. Uh, so this is the, of course, you also have here an example of the matrix. Uh, the eigenvalues is minus three and two. Uh, there is eigenvectors, and as I plotted here again with the green, now it is the stable line, and with the red, it is unstable line, and the face portrait of the original system is plot on the uh, picture on the on the right. Uh, so okay, we are going to the uh, second part. So when we have two real eigen, uh, eigen uh, values, uh, but equal. So now, so we either have this canonical form, which is the same as the previous one, but uh, if we have the canonical form like uh, this, then this is that if you remember. The second system that I solved yesterday. So the second equation is a couple uh, method of separation of the variable, and first one is then the linear. And it is very easy to uh, obtain these general solutions of the system. We have done this yesterday. So what we have now. Again, the phase portal will depend on. Now on on the lambda, okay, and we distinguish the cases when the eigenvalues is negative or the eigenvalues is positive. So if the eigenvalues is negative, then again both solutions will tend to uh, to zero. Um, of course, it's pretty much easy mathematical calculation in here. And now to answer the question. How the trajectories again approach the zero? They again float, um, calculate the um, uh, the angle in the US. And now, with some calculation, we obtain t. So we only have t here. So this anyway goes to zero in forward time or in backward time. So what this mean? So now we have uh, only one eigenvalue vector. Okay. Remember yesterday I told you when you have a double root, you have one eigenvalue. To uh, make the transformation matrix, we add uh, the other vector by some other computation, but we only have unique eigenvector. So now all the tractors will approach the zero target to that engine vector, but as we go backwards, that again became the parallel to the same agent direction because we have only one. This is the difference um, uh, uh, in compare with the, the classical stable node. There we have the two directions. We are approaching target to one and moving away parallel to another. Now we are approaching and moving away in the same directions. So that's why we called this uh, fixed point degenerative node. In this case, the stable degenerative node, and of course, the unstable. So, as you see, now we approach the origin tangent to um, x1 axis, but if we move away so backward, then we again come the parallel to that same directions. For the original systems, we have more transformation. Of course, the, uh, I um, gave you all the necessary calculation in the textbook, but I will not here to spend the time on the calculation. Of course, if you're interested, we'll uh, come to, to, to that topic later, uh, you can check. So this is the phase portrait of the original um, original systems. So now this blue line is 
in this case, the stable eigen direction determined by the only eigen vector that we have here. Okay, now and how the tractors look like they uh, here approach target, but if we are backward time, we again become the parallel to that the, the same. So uh, unstable degenerative row is pretty much uh, the similar. So now the tractor remove away from the origin tangent to the unstable. And in the backward time, they uh, can store the origin also tangent to that uh, the same unstable open direction. Also, you here uh, have some uh, concrete example. I here plot um, unstable degenerative node. Just so we are here moving away. So this green line is the uh, Aiden, uh, determined by the Aiden uh, direction here. So, as you see, we have uh, the tractors uh, which are uh, tangently moved away here from the region. To, to that line. Uh, okay, in the, um, the second case of the matrix, <clears throat> so for this case, okay, when we had we had the two eigen vectors, so the canonical form uh, looks like this. So this is the, the general solutions, but now the trajectory is, is nothing. Like, so if you, okay, uh, where is, where is, where is, where is, okay. If you divide this, this and this goes, so then the constant, so we obtain what? Epsilon two is constant multiplied by epsilon, so we have the straight lines. So all the trajectories are the straight lines approaching or moving away from the origin. So very, very easy to calculate. And the face portrait looks like this. And we called the origin stable or unstable star node. So also very easy to uh, uh, name for the, for the famous face portrait. And finally, our third case, Corresponding to the complex agent uh, agent values, uh, the general solution is given in this form, and you can guess what we will have now. Now we have sinus and cosine, so it's been the periodic. So we will now have the periodic solutions of the uh of the system um okay this is just a mathematical calculation for uh, these sitters remember the canonical form looks like this remember the real part of the eigenvalue is on the main diagonal and the imaginary part on the uh, uh, up right corner and down with the changing of the uh, uh, the general solution is given in this way. So this is arbitrary constant. We have exponential function of the real part. So exponential part of alpha multiplied by C. So what we can say now, maybe two. So our solution goes to infinity or to zero. It will depend on what? On alpha. Okay, what is alpha? Yeah, yeah, the real part. Are the origin will be the stable or unstable? It will depend on what? On the sign of the real part of the agent. Okay, only the real part determines stability. If it is negative, we will have uh, the stable fixed point. If it is positive, it will have. Unstable. If you move away from the origin of the plane, what if this is zero? 
Now we have a lot of real questions. original alien uh, vectors. If you just want to precisely know how your uh, solutions approach the origin uh, about the stable manifolds that we call there or the answer. But if you in the application, well, tell you the truth, I'm the mathematician. <laughs> so not so much of the application. Uh, but maybe John can help me. Is it maybe important in some uh, application um, that we just do the face portrait of the original system, not of the that in the canonical form? Because we just want to precisely know how the triples are from. I mean, in some application. Because in canonical form, Right. right. I am Is it some applications in yeah. that? Yeah. I really don't know. I'm not the honest. <laughs> and for theory, that's especially when the variables are uh, concrete, the concrete uh, that is in the original variable, the okay. original reference system. I don't know. In order to study the stability, it's easy enough yeah. to do it in the yeah. to study the, the, the character. To come to the conclusion about this. Yeah. That's the end of time because the rest of the psycho form done everything that you know about. If you are really interested in the about the actual conditions, yeah. Yeah, but for the non linear dynamics, it's almost impossible. But the linearization of the form. If you want to Quality theory and differential equation and not to do the numerics. The numerics and mathematics can start parts like statement. What is the stiffness in that? One example of the stiffness is one. When one alien values is very small and very fast go, and the other alien direction is close to zero, then the numerical method. Can be really tricky. It could stretch up uh, such a solution. I mean, tricky in the sense that you have uh, to work with the other topic, you have to choose a very small set, which then may come up problems. Yeah. Accumulating all the error and so on and so on. That's how uh, wide the, the qualitative theory of, of the differential equation and this approach uh, is, uh, is better. So, uh, okay, my question is what if alpha is really? We don't have this exponential part. Right, you circle around. Yeah, that's what you 
We were so around that the, the kind of fact we saw yesterday on uh, uh, dancing on the I'm sure the example we had the close trajectory around the fixed point. That's what we discuss. But the center will be what I explained yesterday. It will be stable, but it will not be asymptotically stable. So if you start close to the, you will just be circling around, you know, moving far away from from that uh, that uh, origin, but you will never approach. Exactly, so you have just a periodic solution, and generally this is very easy calculating here because the trajectories. So this is the parametric curves. If we calculate x1 square plus x2 square, we obtain the constant. So exactly with the uh, we obtain, I leave. I leave. no no here is here is the circle in the canonical form it yeah. is circle, but for the original system we will have the transformation because the axes are now uh, the different that that is the, the only uh, the only transformation. So we have three types of a base portrait, the center corresponding to the uh, real part of the eigen vector of eigen value is zero. We call unstable focus. So we have the spirals which move away from the origin. Okay, so unstable focus if uh, the real part is greater than zero. And we have the stable focus for now the, the spiral trajectories that are moving uh, to uh, approaching the, the origin as, as the time as the time increases. Uh, of course, for the original systems, the phase portrait will generally look like this. Okay, just a slight transformation. Uh, the circles will be transformed into the surfaces, and we have. Uh, again, the close trajectories around the around the origin in the case of the, the center or unstable or center focus. Uh, so I mean, uh, and and uh, uh, depending on the the sign. And this is the example. <clears throat> so on the left, you see the face portrait of the center of the original system. So you have this, but I will just mention here, but uh, come back later to, to that point. If you look on my picture on the right, is it for now familiar? Very similar to Degener or Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can almost no make it distinguish. If I just saw, uh, Show you that picture, you will be completely right. I ask you what type of uh, the fixed point is here. If you answer this is the Degener to know this, I will tell you that <laughs> you're right. But no, this is uh, the sphere, which is uh, not in this picture quite now. But as you see, when we now uh, make um, a uh, complete classification of the solutions will be uh, become more clear because in some sense degenerative node is degenerative because yeah uh, it has the property of the node it does not correspond to the periodic solution okay it's a node only focus center corresponds to the periodic solution Okay, unstable stable focus on the center we have a periodic solution. In all the other cases, stable nodes, stable baby nerve nodes, sometimes you don't have a periodic solution to asymptotically approach to some fixed point or move away. Of course, I'm talking about the stability. Uh, but uh, the, in a sense, the code is the case data and possible. So yeah. Very close. Yes, very close. So the degenerative node is something between the, the focus and the node. 
we can perform it also in in, uh, in that so in that snaps. Uh, so yeah, this is a concrete example. So the alien values are plus minus i. So if you had plus minus one, you had what? Real part of the zero. Um, and you have alpha, alpha, beta, minus beta. This is the, the picture on the right. And the next example, the eigenvalues is, sorry, yeah, minus two. Yeah, so now the real part is negative. So we have the stable office. So the spheres will, be, will approach the uh the, the origin at some time so okay if your face is after all that look like this at the moment don't have a smiley face don't watch <laughs> Don't worry, the things are not so complicated as it looks like. So we all have a very smiley face at the end of the final session. So there is a really nice and easy way to make classification. To do that, the so-called trace determinant plane. Remember? Where is my characteristic? Ah, yeah, here. The characteristic equation is here. I told you yesterday why to, that it will be at some point important how the uh, equation looks like. So the coefficients are t, which is the trace, which is very easy to calculate. Okay, <laughs> and the other point is determinant. So you actually don't need to calculate eigen values or the eigen um, vectors if you just want to classify your uh, fixed point. Okay. But if you want to more precisely describe the solutions, okay, then of course you, you have to do that. But just for brief classification, that we will do very frequently. Uh, done in the nonlinear dynamics because there we will sometimes have three or four or five fixed points. So for every uh, you have to, to calculate, then uh, this is the easier way. And you just really have to remember this smiley crazy face. There is everything that I, I was talking about. Is so what we do, we calculate the trace, okay, we calculate the determinant. For your matrix, you put the point in the CD plane. And when you are, you have your quantification. Yeah, that's very, very easy. So uh, where is the difference? So what is this line? Discriminant. No? So the, this is the discriminant of the quadratic equation. Yes, because of the sign of the discriminant, it depends what. Are we going to have the complex or the width? Or if the discriminant is zero, so if you are on the parallel, then you have a double root of the quadratic equation. So, okay. So here, but... This is the funny picture and this is the bad picture, <laughs> which explains everything. So here, okay. So above the, let's say, let's first say, below the uh, trace axis, okay? So when the determinant is less than zero, the whole this line belongs to the cell. So down you're on the cell. Remember what is the cell? We have a stable line, an unstable line. We are going sometime 
uh, parallel to the stable, but then we are moved away from the origin in the direction of the unstable line. So down we have the saddle. Here, to below the parabola, we have nodes. If the trace is negative, this means that, uh, okay, it's easy because from the real truth, we have that the sum of uh, two AD values are the trace, and the multiplication is the determinant. So this uh, um, give us um, conclusion about the size of the, the, the Asian, uh, uh, Asian values. So if you are below the parabola, and you're on the left, so if you're the trace of the matrix is negative, you have the stable node. On the right, you have unstable node. On the parabola, the double root, and you remember there is a degenerative node. Also, left file, stable, right, unstable. If you're above the parabola, you're coming to the complex solutions because now the, the, the discriminant is a negative. Okay, so above the parabola, you have the periodic uh, solutions of the, the linear system. On the axis, you have the center. So here, this means what? This means that the trace is zero. Okay. If again the trace is the negative, you have the stable focus, and on the right you have unstable, unstable focus or spiral sink or spiral source. As I explained at the beginning, I uh, uh, haven't uh, come back to that point in the meantime. Remember, everything is getting <coughs> stable before it. Yeah. So the second quadrant belongs to sink and all with that. Everything else is one table in this way. So everything else is the source. So below, as I said, is the cell and the first quadrant is uh, belonging to and now I'm coming back to the point of the degenerative node. You see it here. Just as I mentioned, uh, five or ten minutes below. So, degenerative node is where on the borderline, as you see between what exactly between the the spirals and the node. Then it's quite intuitively very clear why the interface portion looks uh, how, it, how it looks like. Uh, but here I will mention one also very important uh, point, which will be uh, very important for us in the, the, the nonlinear dynamic, dynamics we will look later. So this borderline is very important. What you will say about this borderline? <laughs> borderline between what? From the left, we have what? Now, right? Stable, unstable. Huh? So very important borderline. You just a little bit cross there. You are on the stables. But if you move away on the right, go to the unstable system, unstable this point. So the center is this has the stable, okay? But it is on the borderline here between the, the stable TV plane and the unstable TV plane. This will be very tricky in the nonlinear dynamics because the linear centers you will see can become unstable focus on linear. So in the linearization, 
uh, you can move from the uh, if you conclude that the example is center, I will talk of course about that uh, more precisely later, but uh, the linearization will not uh, give us any answer about the center. So if you conclude that something is the center of the linear systems, then in the nonlinear dynamics, it can either be a center still, but it can become unstable focus. If it becomes unstable focus, then cause for uh, for the model to don't have a nice uh, behavior because we will not longer move uh, to the uh, fixed point while the solutions will uh, go to the infinity so uh, one way and uh, the model and the most unstable uh, in, uh, in that direction. Uh, so very easy if you just remember this picture in your head, then you uh, pretty much easy can uh, classify uh, the fixed point uh, of uh, the of the linear linear system. Uh, so okay, this is just in the conclusion. This is also if. Um, T square minus 4D is less than zero. We are above the parabola. The real part is uh, one half of the trace. So if the trace is negative, it is sync. If the trace is positive, it is so. So in general, if the trace is negative, okay, the, the matrix, you are at a stable or you have uh, you have the sync. If the trace is positive you are in the first quadrant and you have you have a source with uh, you can uh, decide about uh, the, the behavior here is also uh, one more um, uh, one more picture which I mostly mostly prefer because it is uh, it, it is uh, most clear uh, considering that the classification uh, and the, the, the position in, in, in the graph. And finally, according to the stability concepts, uh, the, the, the general form of the stability, I've already done that through to my uh, classification, but uh, let's conclude. So we said that the saddle point is unstable, okay? Stable mode, stable focus. Uh, stable degenerative node, stable star node, all is asymptotically stable to its point. So sinks and then unstable node, unstable focus, unstable degenerative node, unstable star node, we call it unstable fixed point or uh, the, the sources. Center, once again, is stable but not asymptotically stable fixed point. Uh, do I have what we have? Let's go what we can. Also have um, exercises. I think it should be uploaded. The exercises for first for for this structure. I gave you here the no. Yes, this is for planar system. Okay. So find the eigenvalues, find the eigenvectors, and just going to that of this matrix, transform to the canonical form, and so at least sketch the the, the face portrait. Of the original system and sketch the, the phase portrait of the, the, the canonical form. Uh, you can do it for homework, but let's do now just in the most simple way, as shown in the last section. Just, just make me the classification of the, the fixed points. 
in order to to uh, plot the transport, you need eigen okay, eigen values and eigen vectors and so on. But let's now just do the classification in TV. We just calculate the trace and the determinant, and then we will see. Yeah. <laughs> I actually share the screen. Okay, for the first matrix. Uh, uh, okay, so the trace is trace is five. And the determinant is six. Where are we? The positive trace stable. on the right of unstable. Yes. The determinant is positive, so we are up, so it becomes stable. The determinant is the next. So for now, we can say what? Unstable. Yeah. What type? But we have to calculate the. the... Is um. They were not. Uh, discriminant of the quadratic. So. Yeah. So d mm -hmm. square minus 4d. No, I'm saying 25 minus 24 is one, yeah. So the agent uh values are real. Okay, so we have two real. Uh, different, uh, so what type of the fixed point is unstable node. Unstable node. Yeah. For the second, the traces, uh, traces the uh, four, and the determinant is. Five, sixteen, and sixteen minus four. Yep. Yes. Now it's negative. Now we have what? Again, unstable because the trace is positive. So we are on the the right but the roots are imagine imagine but now the instrument is complex because it is negative okay so the complex so we have unstable unstable focus yeah unstable spiral so what here traces now two one One. Mm. 
Now, the quadrats equal for D, this is the parabola. So if it is equal, you are on the parabola. So you are on the borderline. Still, the trace is positive for you on the right, but what is on the borderline lines? Daily energy node. But this is unstable daily energy node. Okay, just keep the animal. And this is next. Okay. So now we are here. Yeah. This is the degenerative notes. Uh, here. Degenerative source on the borderline. Um, okay, four. The trace is now. And that amount is minus nine. <coughs> minus nine. Minus nine. Minus nine. Minus nine. The D is minus one, where we are. Now, generally, when I do the calculation, I first uh, calculate the better than that because if it is negative, then I'm fixed. It's yeah. the devil. <laughs> I don't need any other calculation. But if it's positive, then I continue. <laughs> Uh, continue further. It's, uh, of course, it's it's easy calculation. That's fine. So now we have uh, the the saddle points. So we are below this line, and the finally um, trace minus three. Minus, this is three plus two. Yes, so T quadrat minus 4D. Uh, minus this is one. What will be now? So the discriminant is positive, which means what? The real, okay, the real line. So, but the trace is. Negative, so we are on the stable part. So now we have the stable, the stable. Uh, so, of course, in order to plot the uh, more precisely the the face portrait and uh, uh, of the systems of the original systems of. The Monocle systems, maybe you can do one example at home. At home, just choose one so that you can just um, get uh, no issues on the calculation, but uh, the, the classification is uh, uh, that because uh, we very, very frequently. I uh, use uh, the classification is between the different school that uh, uh, we will uh, we need to, to handle pretty much quickly in the nonlinear dynamics because uh, it is just one of the properties <laughs> that we have to do in order to, to describe uh, the face portrait and the behavior of the student. So, okay, I think I will stop here for today. We are moving to the nonlinear dynamics. See if I already guessed by the linearization. We will classify it at a fixed point, but we will then see some more techniques uh, of how to sketch the vector smooth, which is maybe uh, more important uh, on to 
prove that uh, we have uh, the limit cycle, which uh, generates the periodic solutions in the nonlinear uh, non regions. Okay, any questions up now? Okay. Is there a presentation? Questions in the chat? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. sure. You must see on your tablet. Yes. Uh huh. We go to five. Okay, so what is that setting? Thank you very much. So we meet in 20 minutes for the last lecture of today. Uh, I forgot uh, to ask you. How do you use software? I can show it tomorrow. It's really only one command screen plot the whole from Mathematica. Which plot is because for the linear about the Yeah, I, I don't know. In, uh, math, so. I use both, but more math, 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 math. Sure. Math. Sure. Well, when I try to use the logic it was really hard job to plot the trajectory. So, come up with that. It's okay because you have a solution. So, you just uh, do math. But uh, then starting from, I think, the work from mathematics seven or eight, they input to the, the screen plot. And if you really do, you will see the nonlinear dynamics really do a nice job, even uh, the limit cycles, which you have to do more and more. Uh, yes, there is, of course, for bifurcation theory, uh, the analog stone, which is uh, very nice for, for plotting. Uh, but uh, you can guess that there is a limit cycle, it really do a nice job. Uh, so when uh, you do just the screen plot, put the vector field, put uh, the variance where you want to plot your thing, you can enter and Thank <laughs> 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 <laughs>